I first started boxing when I came to uni. Um, I went to Freshers Fair and I went to the boxing stand. I was quite interested in it and I spoke to James Connor and a few of the boys. And I'd done a little bit of boxing before when I was younger because my dad is a coach. So I thought I might as well try it, see how it goes. Went to a taster session at Spinnaker and then from there just carried on boxing, loved it, and then started competing. So yeah. Um, in training, I enjoyed getting on the pads. I mean, pad work's one of my favourite things. I get on well with James Connor, and we do a lot of good pad work together. Um, he always sharpens me up before a bout. And also, skipping, I'd say, is one of the things I enjoy a lot. I mean, it's good for weight loss. It's easy for me, just getting on the skipping mark. You can do it anywhere you want, anytime. And yeah, definitely, that's, that's my two things I'd say that I enjoy most about training. In boxing, you have to be confident. I mean, you can't go into a fight thinking you're going to lose. So every time I go into a fight in the change room beforehand, I'm just thinking that mentality, I'm going to win. You, you know the crowd's out there. You know everyone's out there waiting for you. Um, you need to get warm, get a little sweat on, get ready for the fight. And while you're warming up, you're just thinking about what you're going to do in the ring, uh, thinking about how you're going to fight, your game plan, everything like that. You do a bit of pads with your coach, and then you go out, uh, you do the ring walk, walk up to the ring. That's a quite a nervous moment. When you come out, you see the whole crowd and you're walking up to the ring and then you get in that ring and the announcer calls your name. You know, you do the, you got this for the crowd, play to the crowd, everything like that. And then you see your opponent for the first time, probably for the first time, if you haven't fought them before, it's most likely you're gonna be the first time meeting them. So you see your opponent, you see what you're up against and then that's it, it's showtime. Last few words from your coach, and then you're ready to go, the bell goes, you're off. The last bout, um, I boxed a boy called Isaac uh, at our home show, and he was a tall southpaw, so I found it quite difficult. The way he boxed his style, I found it just to get in and catch him. But fortunately, I managed to win that. Um, caught him with some nice shots, he caught me as well. But it was a very, very tough bout, and I wasn't, wasn't prepared, I would say. I wasn't prepared enough for it and that's why I struggled. But my first south southpaw I fought against, I thought I did pretty well, so. First saw my box um, was in the gym for sparring, and he obviously had some natural uh, ability. Um, but he had things like uh, good timing, uh, coordination, athleticism, and you can't teach those things. So it was obvious from early on he had something about him. But obviously a long way to go from when you first see someone. Uh, the people I train in general um, they vary quite quite drastically, really. Um, we're a university club mainly. Um, but so we get a lot of you know people starting 18, 19, 20. Um, a lot of them haven't boxed before. Some have done a little bit, but the vast majority are, are absolute raw novices, which I love because they're a blank canvas. And often we get keen people who just want to learn. So we start that transformation going from a raw novice, perhaps out of shape, and we try and mould them with the discipline of boxing, if not to box and compete, to change their lifestyle a little bit and maybe grow in that way. Um, so often with boxers, we see significant signs of progress when they box, when they compete. Um, you know, it's a, it's a harder stage, it's a lot of pressure. So one stands out for me in November, um, Omar Boxer, like called Glyn Davies uh, from Whitehawk ABC. A uh, very good boxer, more experienced than Omar. And he actually gave away on the night over three kilos, which is a huge amount in boxing terms. We had every right to pull that fight, um, but I knew Omar was strong, I trusted in his ability. Uh, and he proved, proved me right, he was, he was fantastic. Uh, and it, it kind of proved to me he was ready for, 
from moving on. Um, he boxed on the front foot, he boxed on the back foot, he displayed many different skills, um, quite rare for his level of ability, so it was, um, or experience, should I say. So um, that was a, quite a pivotal moment in, in, for me in his development, because he was forced to up his game and he succeeded, and that's a really good sign going forward. So yeah, I mean, discipline in boxing is, I mean, it's hand in hand. You cannot box and be, dis and be undisciplined, it's simple. Well, you can, but it's not very safe. And we certainly wouldn't have it in our gyms. So um, it really is a vital component. It's about getting up in the morning for your runs, looking after your diet, come to the gym having a good attitude, you know, taking losses well. There's stuff like that. It's, it's, a, it's a lot, and discipline's very important. I think Omar does demonstrate those qualities. He's always in the gym, training hard. His diet's good. He's, he's never really, you know, his weight doesn't fluctuate that much. So you can tell he's got that discipline. And to be honest, without it, you get nowhere in boxing. So vital for him to have that, and he seems to. I think boxing's so good for fitness, not just fitness. It's good for fitness, it's good for a bit of determination, um, everything. It's a really good sport, all round sport. There's a lot of respect in boxing. People like misunderstand it a bit. I think it's just fighting, but really, there's a lot of respect in the game.